up everybody this is coach Phil with coach Phil reacts I am back with another video so it is like 11 45 at night I am recording these four videos um if you saw my community post um on the channel I'll be honest I was very frustrated I almost cried last night because I updated my computer and I went to OBS I thought all my settings and stuff were situated but Lo and behold, my microphone was not connected. So if anybody knows about OBS, you gotta go in there, click on it, do all that sort of stuff. You know how it is. But I was pissed because I I had a good time reacting to the videos. Um, but I'm gonna make a positive out of a negative. That's all I can do in this situation. I, I kind of already know what happens, but we can thoroughly look at this a little more. Um, and I guess this is the first time we're not doing a blind reaction on the channel i kind of hate it but it is what it is so i hope you guys understand i apologize i'm sorry i'm a day behind when it comes to getting the videos out but we will pump through all four of these videos and we will move on all right appreciate y'all uh patience all right so first video we're going to react to is the houston roughnecks versus the arlington renegades now i understand with the playoff situation it's points but it's points and standing which is kind of weird because st louis is like seven and three and I don't know how that worked out. It was It's weird how a seven and three team doesn't make the playoffs, but it is what it is. So we just gonna get right into it, y'all. So if this is your first time to the channel, run over there, subscribe, hit the notification bell, share out the video, like it, do all that fun stuff. Also follow my socials, they'll be in the, descri uh, the description box below. Follow me on Instagram, CoachField425, TikTok, CoachField425, Facebook, CoachField Reacts. Uh, my discord all that little fun stuff um we almost at 700 subscribers so let's keep spreading out the channel you know spreading the word about the channel and all that good stuff so yeah that's pretty much the announcement so i know y'all ready for me to get to the video i'm gonna shut up and let's just get right to it now i was hoping that i would see a kelly bryant sighting at least but i know louise is gonna get the start um i wanted to see you know if louise was going to have an even better performance than what he had last week's last week's game he was absolutely he was balling in his own right um we all saw that play that he made near the end of the game on that last drive so hopefully he does something good Mm. So I, I saw that Houston didn't play their starters. They started they played the backups, which was fine. Um, Cox had a pretty good game when I first reacted to this, so I'm gonna see a little more. Oh, good throw. Um, yeah, they got they got a nice little running game, man. Like I've said before, man, with Max Borgie, old boy. I think it's number two. I think his jersey number is. I can't remember. Dude with the dreads. Um, and Cox is a pretty solid if he's third down back. That's pretty nice if they use him in that situation going into the playoffs um, Get in there touchdown Yeah, Houston's run game is gonna be their bread and butter Fade Ugh. You gotta get that back shoulder All right, Louise, what you got? See, Louise makes these Aaron Rodgers plays, man. I don't even know how he does them, but he's he's got it like that. Right on the money. Running game is just nasty, especially on those draws, those inside zones. Kind of hard, kind of hard to stop that. <laughs> Get out of there. Patient. Get in there. Touchdown. 
He let the hole develop. I'll give that to him. He didn't force the issue. Ugh. Mm. You know what's crazy? I really don't see Arlington running the ball like that. Like, am I the only one that notices that? Houston, uh, not Houston. Arlington, okay, they're running it right now, but it's, they rely on Louise to throw the ball. A lot. He'll sneak it. Short. play. I like how Louise can continue to play even outside the pocket. He ain't got to go far. Okay. All right. Here's the deal. This is my issue with Arlington. This is my problem with him. Arlington struggles with catching the ball. And I've noticed that in the XFL, a lot of these receivers struggle with catching. I don't know if it's the pass or if it's just them trying to catch, run before they catch it and try to stay in their stride. I don't know what it is, but it's 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 going to be an issue in the playoffs. There's only four teams. Two are going to the championship. These are the plays, especially in the red zone on fourth and goal where you got to punch it in. Even if you're taking the chance on fourth and goal to punch it in with not kicking a field goal, you got to secure these catches. This is the point of you being in the XFL is to show that you can do things like this. You're made to be, you want these teams to come get you and put you on the roster. Even if it's in a minimal situation, when your number's called, you can show up and arise to the situation. If you can't do that in the XFL, you obviously can't do it in the NFL. That's what's going to show teams. So I'm just saying, man, this, this you got to secure these catches. That's just how I see it. Let's let's continue. Another field goal. Correction, it was third and goal. My bad. And you and Houston doesn't really take too many shots down the field. Maybe it's just this game, but I, I I don't see them slinging the rock like that. And not every team has to stretch the field. Maybe some teams are a horizontal offense passing game. Some teams are, you know, silent side. Uh, what is it? Horizontal or just they stretch the field. It all depends on the offensive scheme. Horizontal or vertical? That's what it was. That's the what I was looking for. Vertical. But their identity is running the ball. So, nothing wrong with that. Now, that's a hold. Correction. 
Cox gets his feet moving. Keep churning. All right, short. Again, man. Can we go back for a second, please? Let's let's go back. Let's go back. If the ball hits you in the hand, why can't you just secure it with two hands? Why are you and maybe Luis threw it behind him, but that's a timing issue. You guys were in the last game of the season. There should be no issue when it comes to timing. But you got to get the DB credit. He read it. Why would you even... Stop. No, 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 no. We going back. We going back. Too far, too far, too far. But why, but why, but why, but why would you even throw it into double covers like that when number two is wide open? What? I, 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 sometimes I can see why dudes are in the XFL because their reads and progressions, their skin in the field is just not there. Some QBs have it, some QBs don't, but if he's butt naked, bucket naked, in the words of Dollar Bill, if you know the movie, you know the movie, bucket naked, wide open, pause, why don't you hit him? Come on, man. I, I don't even know. I Okay, that that just frustrates me. That That is frustrating. My boy 25 Miller. You are down 13 points. My boy why are you going to the end zone to celebrate? You are losing. Get your ass back on the sideline and let's regroup. If the offense scores, we already know we got our game plan. All right, this is what we're going to do to get them off the field. We got 13 minutes on the clock. Maybe we'll have 11. Why are you going to celebrate? Like sometimes I think these dudes really have no comprehension of the game situation and, and, and staying in the moment. It's not about, I understand, you got an interception, but it ain't about you right now, bro. We're in the middle of a game. We're trying to come back. We're trying to secure our playoff spot. And you want to go celebrate in the end zone? We down 13, fam? Man, I, man, I wish I might. I, I, I clear for the Lord, I promise you. Mm -mm. If I see you doing that, you ain't seeing not a lick of the rest of the game. You ain't seeing a lick of the playoffs. You're going to be looking like Malcolm Butler in the Super Bowl. Um, I, that's just that's mm. again bro it's fourth and th okay flag P.I. if they score one more time it's a wrap All right, they down 16 points. I've seen enough. All right, listen here, y'all. So uh, we, we've seen quite enough of this game right here, y'all. Um, if this is the game Arlington is going to play against Houston, it, they might as well just give them the game and give, give Houston an easy trip to the championship because this, 
this is not a good look right now going into the playoffs. Like this, if this is the momentum that you are exuding and putting out there, I, 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 I'd, I'd be pissed off as a coach. I, I, if I was their coach, I'd be like, look, we, we gotta bring some dudes in or some that want to play because these dudes are not playing up to par and up to snuff right now. But at the same time, Houston. I think they just coasted through this game. It wasn't really anything too special. I mean, the run game was cool. Um, other than that one bad read, I mean, the back of quarterback played all right. It wasn't nothing special. wasn't nothing crazy. But it was what it was. So it's going to be Houston and Arlington on Saturday. I think on Saturday. I got to double check the schedule. But I got Arlington beating Houston. I got, I'm sorry. Yeah, I got Houston beating Arlington with ease, with the starters. <laughs> It's going to be a breeze. I, I promise you that, man. And I hate it. I, I really do hate it because there are guys on Arlington that I like. But you can't... I, I guess... It's been an up-down season for Arlington. So I, I'm just surprised that they're even in the hunt. That's, that's all I can say about that, y'all. So... We're going to wrap this video up. We're going to go on to the next one, y'all. So I shall see y'all in video number two.